How's it going guys? Today we're going to be reviewing this camera light that can be used for multiple reasons. It could just be a backdrop light, it could be actually mounted to your camera, and it is also RGB, which is the only reason we're here. Am I right? All right, so this light right here is only like $16 right now if you guys get it on Amazon. It may go up a little, but as of right now, it's around that price. This thing's really cool because it just mounts straight up to your camera and you guys can give whatever you're looking at, some like glow of pink or blue, whatever you guys want that is in the RGB spectrum. This thing is super cheap and if you're a photographer, this is a must have. So we're gonna take a look at this and unbox it and test it out a little today. All right, so here's all the information on the back of it that kind of describes what it's capable of doing and the colors and how much power it consumes. Let's crack this open and I have not even touched this yet. So this is new to me and new to you. Right off the bat, we have a little user manual, which I think will come into handy. We have, we have one of these things that I can't let my dog have. It does come with the USB-C, which is kind of cool. So apparently it should charge on that, which is a lot better than micro USB. And then we have the actual little block here and it's pretty small. As you guys can see, fits inside of my hand, really easy. So we're gonna be seeing how much color this actually throws off. And on the bottom here, this is how you actually tighten it to your camera. And um, it seems like a pretty cool design. All right, so here it is in all of its glory. Like I said, it's really small. It's about the size of a GoPro. So that's kind of cool. Just for comparison, here is my GoPro Hero Session. And then here is this light. Obviously, these can't mount together, but that would sure be pretty entertaining. So on the manual here, it gives you a little explanation of how all of these buttons work. So on the back here, I forgot to mention, this is how you turn it on. So you just flip that switch and you're blinded. Then over here, you have the USB-C and then all the buttons. Whenever this is on and you're being blinded like me, you have a little screen here that tells you exactly what lighting you're using and what percentage that this is at. But we're also gonna give it our own little run here and see if we can use it without even looking at these instructions. That would be nice because I hate reading. All right, right off the bat, let's see if it came with any charge. It did! I'm impressed already. And also blind, that is actually really bright. All right, so we're just gonna shine it on my wall over there and go over some of these modes. Now it is red, matches my setup, and now I'm spooky. Over there, now it's green. This thing's actually really bright. So now it is actually rotating colors, which is pretty helpful if you're a photographer because this allows you to take pictures of all the colors without having to go back to mess with this. So if you guys wanted to, if you guys just wanted to use this as a backdrop, you guys could hook this USB-C up to it, throw it on your computer and just set it somewhere. Just for example, I have it sitting right there and it is lighting up the background and now it looks RGB-ish. All right, so I mounted it to my camera and this is just obnoxious. I would not do this normally, but this is what it does. All right, so usually I have my ring light up, but right now I'm just using the light that we're reviewing right now and it looks pretty good. It's actually really bright, as you guys could probably tell. Here's a quick glimpse of what it looks like from my end. As you guys could tell, it just easily mounts up on top of your camera. And it's probably blinding because it's so bright. All right, this is the light. And um, yeah, I'm gonna have to take this down because this is not what it's meant to be used for at all. All right, so now that you guys could sort of see my face, the light actually mounts really easy. You just slide it on, you slide this knob, and just like that, it is attached to your camera. I could see it's being very helpful for taking thumbnail pictures like what I do for my tech channel. But if you guys are into just taking like portraits and stuff like that, this is way better than the flash that comes on your Nikon camera or Canon, whatever you guys are using. This thing is super bright and has its own battery in it. So you guys don't have to worry about plugging in double and triple A's into this. You guys just charge it with this thing and you guys are RGB. Anyways, if you guys wanna check this thing out, make sure you guys go to my description down below. I have an affiliate link there and it doesn't cost you a dime extra if you guys buy it through the link and it helps support this channel. It is very much appreciated whenever you guys use my affiliate links. So anyways, that is the review for today. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys slap that like button down below and I'll see you guys on the next one.